Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today we're unboxing Dyn Audio's Z04s, which are their wireless and potentially multi-room uh, speakers. They're a bookshelf speaker, so there's a pair of them in the box that you see here. But because the system kind of needs uh, a transmitter to get things up and running, we're going to start by unboxing their hub. So it's nice and simple. Um, the packaging is a uh, freight carton, I guess, with these. Inside there's a small slip of packaging to protect the box and the, the XEO or ZEO hub inside. As we open it, we've got the manual and basic operation instructions. We've got the hub itself and this is protected with a uh, plastic cover. Uh, as we dive further in, we've got a layer of packaging which exposes the accessories that the unit comes with. A fiber optic cable, 3.5mm cable, basic USB cable A to B, basic uh, interconnecting cable, although it's gold plated, and a uh, New Zealand power supply and New Zealand plug. The, uh, the packaging for the hub is relatively straightforward. Uh, a simple pull and it takes away the plastic protection. The hub itself is the same physical size and shape as uh, two or three other products from the XEO range, uh, delineated only by the model number underneath. So let's look at this for the first time. We've got a, a wireless indicator at the front, uh, power and Dynaudio logo. At the rear, as we look at it, uh, the 3.5mm audio input, uh, left and right stereo analog input, optical digital, coaxial digital, USB. Now that is for computers, it's not, a, it's not for software updates or anything like that. And an Ethernet input. Um, then there is the transmitter ID. You can have up to three of these transmitters. So the switch beside the Ethernet port is uh, selectable to A, B or C depending on the hub you are using. And then over far over the over to one side we have the 5 volt input for its plug pack. Okay, so that thing, pretty basic, let's put that off to one side. Right, now, looking at Dyn Audio Z04s. Uh, classic packaging from Dyn Audio, heavy packing straps and a seal on the box. Um, branding on the two sides you see here and on the ends, the Dyn Audio model number, serial number, and packing shipping information. Taking this uh, packing tape off is relatively straightforward, a simple cut, and pull them off and discard it. This um, quality seal, very straightforward, and then it's glued, so give a yank. Looking at the top of the box, You'll see the accessory pack that's in it and a piece of polystyrene to keep that secure. In the accessory pack, we have the setup instructions, the ZO remote, which is absent from the hub and is only supplied with the speakers themselves. In here, we have some AAA batteries for the remote. Diving further into that packaging, a couple of fillers, and then the power cords. So we've got a US, a UK, a something else, and a New Zealand one. Right, now looking at the speakers for the first time. Again, as I mentioned, these are shipped as pairs. So carefully, I'm just going to slide these down and remove the box from the speaker. The Dyn Audio packaging is beautifully moulded to the speaker itself and because this is a uh, paint finish it is protected with one of Dyn Audio's cloth bags. The grill is separate and it's actually packed back to front uh, so it offers a little an element of protection to the speaker um, and if we remove the sellotape from the top we start to being able to remove the speaker from its packaging for the first time. Okay. 
So like most Dyn Audio speakers, there is a tweeter protector that just shipped clipped in. It nestles into the hex screws that help mount the tweeter itself. Uh, keep those typically because it's a good idea. This speaker is a two-way bookshop, so the tweeter and bass driver you can see clearly there. Looking at the grill, you'll see for the white, it's actually supplied in a grey finish, and it's magnetic, so it's very easy to place that appropriately, and should it be knocked, it's not going to damage any of the speaker clips. At the top of the speaker is the power and volume up and down, and an exposed illumination to give you the implication of uh, volume and input. Um, it's also the infrared sensor for the remote that we've seen before. The side of the speaker we get to see the satin white finish and how beautifully smooth it is. And at the rear we see the base port, uh, branding and information and serial number, and then the Dyn Audio information here. So this is an active speaker, so you will see uh, obvious, uh, obvious settings for the amplification side of things as well as the ability to set it up for whether or not it is sitting up against a wall, on a stand or other locations. There is a ID which is coloured, they label them as red, green and blue and these are the zones that these may go in with up to three transmitters or hubs and up to three zones or colours. You can see that this Dyn Audio can be useful throughout the home or be useful for multiple transmission sites or one transmitter and multiple speakers depending on how you might configure it. The middle switch refers to the left mono or right setting. The hub will transmit and broadcast in stereo and you can tell the speaker whether or not you want it to be a left, a right or a mono giving you the ability to move these temporarily around the home and flick each to perhaps mono to fill two spaces. We've got um, the on off switch and a uh, figure eight power cord connection which rounds off all the, all the configurations that you see at the rear. Okay, so here we have the Dyn Audio Z04 Active Multi-Room Wireless Bookshelf Speaker from Dyn Audio. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.